Welcome, I'm Good, and this is episode 2 of Dungeon of the Australium. And we are rejoining our heroes Misha and Kasbar on the second floor of the first ship of Dungeons of the Endless. And we're going to start opening rooms. So we go to the right. Immediately we see that, which is good, so we know we can build a production generator or an industry generator. The next one of those I find, I'm probably going to turn into a food generator. But the good news is we did find a choke point room right in front of the crystal room, which is kind of nice. Because that means we can set Misha up here and have Casper open doors if we run out of power. So to start with, let's go up. Okay, long hallway. We've got another generator slot. No, we don't. We have science, though. Let's see what we have for science. Ooh, industry generator, too. That's kind of nice. But at the current rate, we're going to have to open 12 doors to get there. So we definitely need to find another powerable room that we can put a science generator into real quick. So I'm going to leave Misha here and have Casper open doors. Oh, there we go. Get him, guys. Wow, those things take a lot of damage to kill. Fortunately, I think they're going to survive it without needing any heals, so they should be able to heal up with the post-fight heal. Awesome. And that gave us another dust. So we're going to power that room. And I'd like to lay down a food replicator right now, but instead we're going to put down a science creator because we really want to get that upgraded industry gen. And now we will be getting it much faster. We'll probably get it in about two doors. So I'm going to open the bottom door. <laughs> Another non-generator room. Health regen plus 15 in rooms without monsters. That's pretty good. That makes it so that if we need to, we can sort of run a guy out of the room and they'll be able to heal up a little bit faster. Now the question is, do we want to open that door or this door? And do we want to leave those unlit? I guess we'll light those for right now. And then we'll open this door. And after this, I gotta remember to go back and look at the... Ooh! Big chunk of industry. Yes! Big chunk of industry. Awesome. Now I gotta run back here. I think it was 46 we need for the industry generator too. Uh, yeah it is. Okay, so we need to open one more door. You know what, I'm gonna light that room and just for the sake of ease... Well, first I'm gonna lay down a food replicator because we needed one. And then I'm just gonna open the door right here. Whatever comes through here can chase us down to fight with Misha. Nothing. Awesome. And all of our rooms are lit so we're not gonna get any more spawns. That's perfectly fine. Honestly, we might have wanted a few different uh, spawns just because killing them tends to give you dust and we could use a little bit more. So I'll probably leave a room dark on purpose and just open doors so that Misha can kill them and we can gain a little bit of dust. But first, let's get our industry generator started. Or the research for our new industry generator started. And then we'll just have Casper keep exploring. Okay, this is a final room. Ooh, merchant. Yay. Okay, let's see what you got. Oh, and he's selling everything for food. That's actually not bad, because, I mean, food is great, but I don't use it all that much. I do, I use it to level. I do, I use it to level and stuff, but I don't use it for much else than that. And it takes a lot to level, and we've basically been focusing him. So if we do spend money, we're going to slow his leveling, but we might get some really cool gear out of it. Like that. That could be really nice for him. And that is the correct type of weapon for him, too. Wow, okay, I think I'm going to buy. I have to buy. That's just way too good of a deal. And we'll probably end up coming back to him to buy some more gear, because he basically has gear that's perfect for our big guy. And the more we upgrade Misha, the more power we'll have to just sort of farm mobs that come to him. Uh, so we do not have enough power to power or enough dust to power that room. That's sort of unfortunate because I don't want to see our little merchant friend die before we can finish buying things. But if it happens, it happens. Hopefully we get enough dust from this next room to power that room up. 
Oh. Whoa. Mormish, level two. Careful, I'm the warden, the big boss numero uno, pal. Uh, that's cool. That's a recruitable character. I want to get him, so we'll get him after we open the next door. I honestly don't have that many of the characters unlocked, and I'm not even sure what most of them do. Run away, run away! Oh, Mormish is just gonna sit in this room and fight. Hopefully he's tough. Oh! Casper died. I literally just lost Casper because I'm bad at this game. So I tried to cheat the system there a little bit. I tried to Alt F4 back out and see if it would let me continue so that I wouldn't have to put an episode up where I died horribly in the second episode of the series. But I can't because it basically killed my save. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start over and try to get through the first floor really fast. Try to get us back to where we were. I mean at least I died early on. But that's what's crazy about this game. Like, I took my eyes off of Casper for literally, like, two seconds, and he just died. I should have just sacrificed Mormoth and not worried about it, but I really wanted to recruit another character, so I did something dumb. This time, we're gonna try not to do something dumb. It should be glorious. So we'll power that room. Oh, I'm not even... Yeah, we'll power that room, we'll throw down an industry gen. Let's keep going. Speed is the name of the game for this one, which will be interesting because I've never really played this game trying to be fast. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Don't let those crystals buy. Awesome. Okay, so we need 25 industry for our next thing, so we're just going to keep pushing until we hit that. Get him, guys. Burn him down. Misha is such a boss in this. Doesn't have enough to level, though. Soon, Misha. Soon you shall level. Alright, next door. Oh, come on, Doc. You too. Science crystal, what do we got? Nothing super interesting, so I'm not going to worry about that. I guess I'll power that room just so things... Actually, I'm not going to power that room. I'm just going to open this door and leave Misha here. See if we can farm some guys. Got ten dust. Run away. Farm the dudes. Oh, I missed one of our gens. Whatever. I'll put down another industry gen. Light that up. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and level up Misha. We got lucky right there, because nothing spawned from the science room. I need to leave Misha back there. Or I could light that room, I suppose. Do I want to light that room? No, I'll leave Misha back there, and I'm not going to light the room. We want that extra dust. Open in the door, running away. Come back here, Doc. Let's do this the right way this time. Come on, guys. Burn, burn. Misha, bring him down. This is great. This is going to be really funny. I hope Matt Gambler takes a look at this episode because he was teasing me about how much I freaked out about the crystals on the last one. And if he sees how truly terrible that I am at this game, he'll probably understand why I was so freaked out about the crystals. <laughs> I am... I don't even know what to say, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just really bad at this game. Roguelikes are not a genre that I'm super experienced with, but I really do have fun trying to learn it. It's a very, very interesting sort of thing to try to wrap your head around entirely. Uh, now we have two dust, and we have enough industry to put down something else. Let's go ahead and put down a food replicator, because there's really not that much value in having a science thing right now, because the science thing on this floor is not great. Of course, we could spend 10 science to re-roll it, but that just seems like a wasted set of resources. Run away, run away... Hey, we got a bunch of dust, though. Get him, get him, get him. Come on. Get in the same room, Casper. Work together. See, it works out okay when your guys work together. Ooh, they are actually starting to take some damage, and there's a crystal slipping by, which is even better. Can't upgrade that just yet. Do we feed him? I'm gonna wait a second before we feed him. I really don't want to feed him unless we have to. Okay, Casper's crystal is dead, that guy's down, now all we've got left is a bunch of crystals. 
Awesome. Didn't have to waste food healing. We were able to bring them down and finish the fight. Alright, come on back up, Casper. Keep moving. We should be getting reasonable amounts of food now, too, when we open stuff. Yeah, I think the next one will give us the ability to unlock Sandwich. Okay, come on. Come back. Anything spawn? Nope. Get your sandwich. Oh, he's still short. Okay. We'll get a sandwich after this door. Oh, and we can put another generator down. That's good. Now, the question is, do we want more food, science, or industry? I kind of want to put a science one down just so that we're prepared in the next floor. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put another food rep down. Uh, open door. What do we got? What do we got? I think that's additional science. That is additional science, but those rooms are filled with enemies. We gotta get back quickly, because Casper almost got sandwiched there between two groups of enemies, and he probably would have died. Oh, they're killing my food replicator. No! No! Bad! Oh, that, that absolutely sucked. But we got sandwich. Oh, get the crystal, get the crystal, don't let him buy. That was garbage. I'm gonna light that room because that just sucked. If I would have kept Misha up here, we probably wouldn't have lost that and all the production that went into it. Ouch, that was wasteful. Wait, that was the last... Oh, okay, so we're done. We just have to figure out what rooms we want to power, which will probably be these two. We also need to power that, so I think we'll take some power out of that room, put it over here, and then we'll put Misha right here and send the dock down to here to grab the crystal. Oh, that sucks. We're kind of low on production. Although if we open the first door, we should have just enough to place our first industry generator. Grab the crystal dock. And then run, run, run. Exit only. Go, go, go. Misha, you keep them down. I don't even have enough production to build any turrets or anything. That sucks, but it's okay. Get him, Misha. Kill that thing. Don't let it cut the dock off. Okay, I guess we're gonna have Misha hold that room right there. At least for the time being. Go, Doc, go. Go, 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 Doc. Then we'll have Misha come over to this room, just hold him off for a little bit longer, and then we'll just have him bail. Forget it. Bail, 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 guys. Go, go, go. Exit. Alright. Made it through the first floor with tons of enemies trying to eat us. Right now, if a monster offers me a chocolate bar, I will let it kill me. <laughs> Misha apparently really wants a chocolate bar. Uh, let's go to floor two. So... As much as this sucks, that sort of is it for this episode. Uh, I'm sorry that I got us killed and we had to restart, but I hopefully won't do it next time. We'll, we'll find out, though. At the very least, we are learning interesting things, like if you leave one of your characters alone in a room for three seconds, they're dead. That's it for this episode. If you enjoyed the episode, hit like. If you want to be notified when the next one goes up, hit subscribe. Thank you for watching, and please game responsibly.